Hey buddies, Ash here. Welcome back to Gen Sense. How are you doing? So a few days ago, I got back from Florida and uh, I probably don't need to tell you this, but in Florida during the summer, it gets swelteringly friggin' hot. Like the surface of the sun, if the surface of the sun also had 100% humidity. Yeah, it can get uncomfortable. And with that in mind, today I'm gonna be going over with you guys 15 summer fragrances that are nice and refreshing. Now, some of these may be a little bit more refreshing than others, but all of these would have served me well when I was two seconds away from heat stroke. And I will have each one of these linked in the description below. Feel free to check them out down there. And if you want a code to Max Aroma, Lucky Scent, Twisted Lily, or So Avant Garde, pause the video now and take a look at those codes and then use them if you would like to save a little bit of money on your order. Now, we've got a good range here. We've got some niche, got some designers, and some of these are very inexpensive. So we do have some cheap choices here if you're somebody who doesn't want to spend too much on your fragrances. Let's kick things off with a Calvin Klein. And I actually have a couple Calvin Kleins, so we'll split them up. We won't put them right next to each other. The first one is Eternity for Men Cologne. Now, when I first got this fragrance in, I thought it was okay, but wasn't absolutely blown away by it. But you do have to keep everything in context. And when I got this, I paid more for it than what you would pay now for it. Yes, context, crazy. Get something for $20, $25, suddenly, wow, what a great cheapie. Pay $90 for it, ah! I shouldn't have made that purchase. Crazy, I know. Eternity for Men Cologne does throw it back a little bit to the original Eternity for Men, which you would expect, but it is, of course, much fresher. It has a decent amount of sweetness that lies underneath geranium and ginger and juniper off the top, and then a solid dose of ambroxan, keeping it very modern and fresh as it dries. As I said, on the cheap, that's a solid pickup. Pay retail for it, you're having a bad time but a really good one for summertime for sure. Let's get this obvious one out of the way, Missoni Wave. Hello, old friend. Long time no see. Just playing, I actually feature this and wear it with uh, some regularity, so. Magnetic cap, which uh, only magnetic cap of, of this whole list, so I guess it's the best fragrance in the list, I don't know. I don't make these rules. This one is a nice aquatic scent. Good amount of depth and another one that's quite affordable from discounters. Actually, one of the best bang for your buck fragrances in this entire list. A bit close to Versace Pour Homme and Chanel Allure Homme Sport, and it has solid performance for a summertime aquatic freshie as well. Super appealing, easy to wear, compliment beast. Everything that you want in a summer fragrance, this is. Missoni Wave, a solid, solid release, and I frankly, Cannot wait for Missoni to bust out the newest release in that line. Come on, Missoni, let's, let's get with the program here, man. You gotta be busting out these flankers. Let's go with Niche up next with Cologne from Etat Libre d'Ange. Or Eldo, which is way easier to say. Eldo. The name is very simple here, Cologne. And the fragrance is, I guess you could call fairly simple as well, but it's done fantastically. And for a niche fragrance, it's not very expensive. This is a house known for having quirky, crazy, weird fragrances, like uh, Secretions Magnifique, for example, which has notes of blood and sweat and adrenaline and, and semen. Mm. Yeah. But that's not all. They have a lot of other crazy fragrances, but they also have a bunch of easygoing fragrances, and this is one of those. So don't let the brand scare you. Although people who are really into the weirder side of fragrances probably look at cologne and go, oh, how boring. Oh. It's a green, soapy, fresh fragrance, a little bit similar to something like Mugler Cologne, only at a higher level. I think that it's great for just about anything during the summer. You can wear that to the office casually in more formal situations, doesn't matter. It's gonna work. From there, let's talk about this guy, Le Beau from Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is not Le Beau Le Parfum, this is just good old Le Beau. And this is a scent that when I first got it, I liked it pretty well, but it was not one of my favorites of the year. And then as time has passed and I have worn this more, 
Let's get this in place, man. It kind of slaps, okay? It kind of slaps. Yeah, yeah, people love it. It's got a great tropical feel to it. Very unique for a summertime scent. The coconut in there works fantastically. And it has enough oomph to it. It has enough body to it. Depth and a little warmth and sweetness as it dries down that it makes a killer night out fragrance during the summer. So Le Beau, I did not enjoy that as much when it first came out. And as time has gone, I've realized what was going on that day, man. Like when I did first impressions on that, what was going on? Having an off day. Let's go from there to a mad cheapy Davidoff Cool Water Ocean Extreme Limited Edition. Wow. 2016 limited edition and you can find it at fragrance buy for under 20 bucks so yeah nice now this does have a sea note an aquatic note a marine note like you would expect because it is cool water and it is called ocean extreme so yes you do get that and you also get more of a green feeling in this one than you do the original cool water but actually it, it's a different kind of green vibe here it has more of a like a seaweedy type of cord yeah seaweedy so it actually smells more oceanic than the original cool water does you also have rosemary in there mint and juniper adding to that herbal aromatic feel that you get off the top it's a great change of pace aquatic scent because it's going to give you something much different compared to masoni wave that we talked about before masoni wave going to be a little sweeter more modern Ocean Extreme going to be greener and with a more true marine feel to it. Both of them great choices, both very affordable. Let's go with this one next. Another super crazy cheapy, 4711 Aqua Colonia Lemon and Ginger. Now this one right here, this is gonna be one of the most refreshing of the bunch. It's an Eau de Cologne, it is 4711, so you got to know going in, this is not going to last a really long time. You're going to have to spray this on, maybe spray it on again. Maybe maybe just go ahead and spray yourself with it 50 times. <laughs> it's not really long lasting, but it does smell very good. And if we're talking refreshing, this is one of the best, if not the best out of everything here. It even says on the front right there, it's vitalizing. So yeah, vitalizing. I actually really enjoy the smell. It's very lemon forward, so you have to enjoy lemon as a note. And it mixes together with that ginger, giving you this great kind of sweet, poppy, zingy citrus open. There are so many 4711s that for summertime are perfect, and cost-wise, most of them are extremely cheap. Now, kind of a, an odd one out to an extent, Tiffany & Co, Tiffany & Love for men. Now this is kind of a blue fragrance style of scent. It's actually got a really nice presentation. The atomizer is pressurized. Ooh, really nice. Actually one of the best atomizers out there. I think that it has an opening that is just lights out. It smells so good. It's similar to Bleu de Chanel Eau de Toilette in the opening. Maybe a little bit sweeter, a little bit less poppy in the opening than Bleu de Chanel, but fairly similar in the open. And it's that combo, again, citrus and ginger. It's got mandarin orange, ginger, cardamom off the top. It just really pulls the attention. It, it smells awesome, like I said. As it dries down, touches of greenery and woods come out, vetiver in there. Very modern, very fresh, easy to wear. The only thing that I could bag on that one for is the performance could be a little better and I wish it were a little more affordable than discounters, but what can you do? The scent itself, very overlooked. If you're talking about a fragrance that pulls positive attention, that has a very nice refreshing feel to it. Let's go back niche with Frappant Humaniste. This has one of my favorite openings ever, ever. It also could use uh, with a little boost, a little performance boost. Frappon in general is a house that's, you know, not known for really beast mode fragrances. I mean, they got a couple that last a long time. A bunch of them are like, uh, like emerging on prom night, if you know what I mean. It's just uh, not great longevity. That being said, don't really care <laughs> because when I spray that stuff on, it is just, ooh, like just, 
Love it. It's one of those fragrances that the first time I smelled it, I fell in love instantly. I knew like, I gotta get a bottle of this stuff. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. I gotta do it. It has citrus off the top. Very lively, natural, sweet, fresh. It has this gin accord that you can pick up pretty much immediately. So it's like a boozy scent where instead of going with that very warm, kind of sticky, sweet booziness that you typically get, you know, rum, whiskey, cognac, stuff like that. Instead, you get this juniper infused gin, which gives you a different kind of burst of booze. Absolutely amazing. I love the stuff. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes you can find it at discounters for a pretty good price. I've actually seen them in the past. I'm not saying right now, but in the past for under a hundred bucks. At that price point, it's a steal because the quality is just fantastic for that price. It's, it's really good. Let's go with the other Calvin Klein. Eternity for men, again, but this one is Summer Days. And this one I've seen at discounters for a very inexpensive price, uh, and it's absolutely worth it for the, the low, low price. It's got a little bit of a melon vibe to it. It's another sweet one. Sweet, fresh, watery, melony, essentially. Absolutely smells synthetic, for sure. <laughs> it doesn't come across smelling like a natural fragrance or anything like that, but it is uh, one of those ones that's just appealing and easy to wear, puts you in a good frame of mind. And off my skin, it's actually got very good performance as well. So eternity for men, summer days. I dig this stuff. Let's go with another cheapie. Martinique, Tommy Buhama. Bahama, I don't know why I wanted to say Buhama, whatever. Martinique is one of those, uh, at this point, almost OG Tommy Bahama cheapies. I mean, there were fragrances, obviously, from Tommy Bahama before this one, but when you think about the hyped cheapy Tommy Bahamas from years gone by, it's St. Bart's and Martinique. Those are really the ones that pop into my mind anyway. Pretty simple, gonna get citrus, kind of a clean aquatic flair with lavender in here and that's that's pretty much what you got a little bit of a similarity to saint bart's in the way that it comes across as well they're kind of like brothers another one that's an eau de cologne like 4711 so feel free to douse yourself in this stuff just load yourself down man just spray yourself 35 times who cares the staying power here is a bit better than 4711 but it's still not uh, really long long lasting maybe if you hit your clothes hit your hair get a little better performance out of it Still yet though, a great vacation scent, beach fragrance, you know, if you're going to a coastal city, coastal town, somewhere really hot, whatever, you can really go heavy with that and you're gonna smell great for as long as it lasts, which is why clothes, spray those. Niche again, Elysium O Intense, Raja Parfum. Seeing a little bit of uh, this and that on this fragrance, some people saying no, not very good. Other people saying yes, very good. So my opinion on this one, uh, as of now, which I've only had it for a few days, but better than the Parfum Cologne for me, not as good as the Parfum for me. So the Parfum is going to be, you know, just a bit richer, has a little more going on, higher quality, frankly, but it's also way more expensive. This does have a good amount of vetiver that comes out as it dries down, so it does turn into a woody fragrance with kind of green notes along the edge, you know, aromatics. So you do have to like that type of fragrance. It's like water spritzed vetiver with aromatics and some herbal notes in there as it dries. And then the opening, of course, it's that Elysium opening. It's uh, very appealing, citrusy, lively, refreshing, while still being quite classy. So I would say as long as you enjoy fragrances that do have a noticeable vetiver base and you don't mind some aromatics in your scent, check it out. If you don't like that, it's probably not going to work for you. Let's go with another new one next, Summer Vibes, or Light Blue Summer Vibes from Dolce & Gabbana. I love this bottle. I will say it every time I pick this thing up. I think it just looks flipping cool. It's very aesthetic. It's very pleasing to the eye. <laughs> It does throw it back a bit to uh, like Light Blue O Intense and the original Light Blue Pour Homme. It's in that style. So I would say, you know, if you have Light Blue O Intense, maybe you want to sample this one first just to make sure it doesn't come across as redundant to you. A lot of people would say, no, it's not redundant. Others would say, yes, it is. So it's going to be a personal thing, much like in the way that Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Italian Love is going to be for some people redundant if they already own Light Blue forever. And for other people, they won't be redundant. But where those two fragrances have those similarities, this one has similarities to 
0 and 10. And also uh, swimming in Lapari, which is another light blue flanker. But I do like what it does. I think that it smells quite nice. It's grown on me even more since I've tried it out initially. And while it does have those similarities to Owen oh, 10 sand swimming in Lapari and the original, I still like it. And I think that for myself, it works. It doesn't become redundant. I do think it's a really nice addition to the line though, if for no other reason than just uh, that right there. We got three to go. Next up, Mercedes Benz. You might be thinking Cologne and Yes, actually cologne would be a great choice. If you could ever freaking find this stuff, it's like sold out 24 7, 365. Uh, so we're going with Mercedes Benz Select Day. This one has a bit of a similarity to Versace Mano Fresh when you first spray it on. Not the exact same, but kind of in that wheelhouse, in that ballpark. Kind of citrusy, aquatic, woody, not really aldehydic, but it has a nice, almost ozonic cleanliness to it. It's a fragrance that will probably grow on you over time. This is one of those scents where you first smell it and it has a few similarities to other popular scents out there and maybe you go, ah, you know, it's kind of whatever, like who cares? But then if you give it some wear, you do start to enjoy it more and more. It's another one that has a nice classiness to it, which is very easy going, kind of a grab, spray and go type of scent. If you can pick that up for, I would say, under 45 bucks or so, it's a good buy. If you pay more than that, it's not. So use that as a cutoff. The lower that you can get underneath that number, the better. Well, I guess that goes for everything, doesn't it? Let's go another designer, Boss Bottle Tonic. Now, I've always really enjoyed Boss Bottle Tonic, but I know that some people out there do not. I think that it's overlooked. I think that for the price that you can typically get this for, which is not much, that it's a, a solid pickup. It does essentially just take the Boss Bottle DNA, you know, that kind of apple pie, apple and cinnamon type vibe, and freshen it up and turn it into a summer scent. It's really about that simple. And I think it works very well, actually. I, I think that washing that clean, that scent profile, works extremely well, actually, as a daytime or evening scent, spring or summer. So for the price, Boss Bottle Tonic is one that I keep going back to over and over, over the years. And I still like it as much today as when it came out. Last fragrance, last call, Mise en Sur Cologne du Mate. So this is Alberto Marias' perfume line, his own personal perfume brand, which you can tell by looking at it because it says Creation Alberto Marias. This one has a great opening, citrusy, with a blast of jasmine in there. You have Mate that gives it this green, at times slightly earthy feel, but it never becomes oppressive and never becomes overbearing. And it doesn't take away from the freshness of the fragrance, it just provides a counterpoint. And you have solar notes in there, white musk as it dries down. It has a, a hint of sweetness in there, but it doesn't go overboard with the sweetness. A really nice under the radar choice that just about nobody is going to be wearing. So it gives you something to set you apart while still keeping it very approachable and wearable. So there we go, 15 fragrances that are refreshing, that are perfect choices for summer. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.